Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well. I'm not sure all having a wonderful day. A lot of people don't know that there are actual islands in the very center of Paris. And this is the most or more popular of the two. It is called Ile Saint-Louis, or Island of St. Louis, I guess would be exactly how you would uh, translate it. And it is one of the most expensive parts of the entire city. For those of you who know uh, meter squared or square meters, let's say one square meter in Paris typically is roughly between 10,000 to 13,000 euros per meter square. That is every 10 squared feet. Uh, so if you were buying an apartment or looking for an apartment, that was around 10 meters squared or around 100 square feet. You'd be looking at around 110 to around 130,000 euros, roughly around 150,000 American dollars. Uh, here, however, <laughs> it starts at around 17,000 per meter square. This is like the most popular place in the city. It is characterized nearly almost exclusively by old money. You can see walking through a lot of the streets, a lot of the uh, most popular restaurants and cafes are also here as well. Little tiny streets. It is its own island. It is basically separated by this bridge from the rest of the city. It's also home to one of the most popular, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I don't know exactly where it is anymore. One of the most popular ice cream shops, which is called Bertillon, B-E-R-T-H-I-L-L-O-N. There's usually always a very long line to get there. And last I came here, there were a number of uh, other places I think where they even gave their name to or allowed them to, uh, they licensed off the name for these people to be able to sell their uh, ice cream. It is a very particular area of the city. You see the name of the street? It's Rue Saint Louis on Lille. It's uh, the street of Saint Louis on the island. Just more of a, especially if you are traveling here, I would, if you are on a budget per se, do not look for any hotels around here. You will be sorely disappointed. Even in other touristy areas, like where we're currently staying in the sixth district, I believe we're in the fourth now. There are 20 districts in total. Uh, where we are staying is roughly around 300 per night. Things around here would be significantly more. I checked for real estate around here years and years ago. And imagine my surprise when the tiniest places were super expensive. I even saw a documentary one time of this couple who just wanted a, like a pied a terre, like a little place to land, the, you know, land their feet on, if you will, like a piece of the land, little apartment, little condominium for them whenever they came here to be able to say that they had a place here and I think it was 140 square feet around 13 14 meters squared they said they made it work they said it was totally fine for them but I think it was 230 240 thousand euros and they were content with having something on the island as opposed to something anywhere else so bless them 
I would definitely choose other neighborhoods. But this is like exclusively if you want them. Um, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, the actual postcodes. But in London, there are a lot of people who choose to live in very specific areas of the city to be able to say that I live in Maribone, I live in Chelsea, I live in so-and-so. And they want that particular area code. So a lot of people come here to get the same. I mentioned in the other videos, you see how large the windows are. People often ask, why is there no air conditioning in Paris? It's because the windows are too large. You, can, you cannot fit an AC in there. You actually have to sometimes ask for uh, city permission or permission from the people who own the building to be able to drill holes, to be able to actually create the piping that will go through the building for you to be able to install another version of, um, of air conditioning. A lot of people, I mean, do it. It does take a very long time. Sometimes you also get rejected by the city's council because buildings are supposed to have a certain level of uniformity. You may notice a lot of the buildings are all the same exact level, nothing higher or nothing too much higher, all around five or six levels. And this is because the city wants you to be able to, at any given time, be able to look around from a higher level and see the Eiffel Tower. They don't want something overshadowing the Eiffel Tower or kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, I think I may have found it straight on the street. Defeats the purpose of uh, being in Paris then. This is Bertillon. I think it's a bit of a cooler day, so it's not as packed, but this is incredibly popular. I'm gonna see if I can get closer to the prices as well. It seems like it's about, I think, three fifty for a for a scoop. I couldn't get too close, but I don't want to push the families out of the way. <laughs> This building looks incredibly old. I don't see, there's also a sign there. I think it says 1645. It looks a bit destroyed, but I can't really tell. was a school or something, I'm not really sure. Oh, church. With a very uh, questionable tiny entrance.
I think a horse just passed by here. Okay. Why not? It's a very tiny island. It's very quiet. I think a lot of times people pay for, I don't want to say the silence, but the, if you've been to Paris or haven't been to Paris before, at nighttime, it can get a bit, it's not, the, the word's not rowdy. Depending on where you are, especially if it's in the center of the city or a very touristy area, it can get a bit loud as tourists are walking around and want to enjoy themselves. And for the people, the people actually living in the area, it's not always that amazing to hear people screaming or breaking bottles at two o'clock in the morning. Here, however, all of that is uh, more or less regulated, I would say, as far as what can and cannot be built here, uh, what permits are allowed on the island. This is a notary. Look at the symbol for this. Look how crazy that is. It's beautiful. castle wall I think that might be actually <laughs> I think that might be the point Yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening. I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.